are you doing, handsome? You look so nice. I heard that you have a doctor's checkup today. That is so cool, huh? So, why didn't you tell me that he had a doctor's appointment today? It's just that the first that I'd heard of Ace's appointment with his pediatrician was this morning when I got the confirmation text from the doctor's office, so... You know, a heads up would have been nice. It's really not that big of a deal, Spencer. The pediatrician had a cancellation this morning and offered the slot to Ace, so I took it. Kevin was nice enough and offered us a ride to oh, the really? hospital. Oh, great, so thank you. Well, I appreciate you doing that. I'm sorry that you, you had to. It's no trouble. I would have taken it myself here. had I known. Look, I just assumed you'd be with Trina again and not my name Trina. Okay, except listen, because we've talked about this multiple times, Esme, including at that parenting class that you suggested that we take with one another. I want to be at all of Ace's medical appointments, okay? Even the smaller and ones. And what for? Because I'm his older brother. Yeah, and I am his mother, and I am perfectly capable of looking after my own son. Miss Prince, the doctor's ready to see Ace now. Thank you. Look, Spencer, I've got it. I'd prefer to speak to the pediatrician alone. What the hell was that about? Uh, well, that was Esme, exerting her parental rights, which you do not share. There's really no need for people to keep reminding me that I'm not Ace's father. I get that. Okay, but Ace's father, who's also my father, is missing in action. Because I don't know, he doesn't care that he has two sons. Spencer. You don't know what's going on in Nicholas's head any more than I do. A benefit of the doubt is always the healthiest approach until Come you on. know the Kevin, facts. Kevin, Kevin. My grandmother, who is the sweetest, kindest, most determined person on the planet, has had to finally admit to herself that my father is not coming back. And someone has to fill that void. Someone needs to be there for him. Someone that's not Esme. And I, to be honest with you, I, I don't much care what the official title is, be it father or brother. I'm going to step up and take care of my baby brother. I'm going to do it. Well, you should care, Spencer. Now, your love and commitment to Ace is commendable. But you don't have any actual parental rights I where Ace is concerned. Concern. You understand that, yeah? Y yes, I understand that. And I'd really like to stop hearing about that from people like you and everybody else. You've heard this before? Yes. I get it. From a legal standpoint, Esme has the final say. That's right. Well, fortunately, with the exception of this, uh, I guess we'll chalk it up to a miscommunication, Esme and I have been able to work together to take care of Ace, and I'm... I'm expecting that that's not gonna change anytime soon. Spencer, I get it. I do. Ace is your little brother. You want nothing but the best for him. But you really don't help him if you deny the reality of the situation. The reality is that I'm gonna do what I can for him. The reality is you and Esme no longer have anything in common except Ace. And as your lives diverge, and they will, you may have to accept a reduced role in Ace's no. life. No, mm. I don't accept that. Hey, how'd it go? Oh. Ace is once again in the 99th percentile. Oh, way to go. That's what I'm talking about. I think that this calls for a celebration, yeah? What if we go to uh, Kelly's? Celebrate? Okay, well, uh, thanks for your help. I appreciate it. Let's take it from here. Cup of hot cocoa from Kelly's does sound good, doesn't it? Yeah? Get you some snacks. You mean, can you call her? Oh, you're such a good artist. 